Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. We're, we're set up at, if you've been following the channel, last Sunday we were at, and we still are at, Mother Nest State Park. But we're done here. Beautiful campsite. We're headed to Buzzard Days, so we're going to make a, a, a hop and jump over to Lake Whitney. And this video is going to be all about West Loafer's Bend. So we're going to pack up Trudy and get on the road. We're going to get on the road to fun and adventure. Let's go. Loafer's Bend, West. West Loafer's Bend. We've arrived. We're not in the site that I originally selected, though. Funny how things work. We're back at site number 45. And we were here two years ago, very shortly after we got Trudy Thunder, we paid a visit to this campground. It's a seasonal. They're, they're, this is the last weekend that you can camp in West Loafers Bend. They close the park in September. And then you have to go to the East Loafers Bend. That one is not seasonal. It's open year round. We're in site number 45. It's a Corps of Engineer campground. We have Lots of shade trees, not as many shade trees as it did the last time we were here because that one is deceased. Thanks to the Texas drought. It is a gravel pad. It's pretty level. 30 amp and water. Now, if you have not if you've been following the channel, you'll know that I have soft start on both my R, uh, both my AC units, so I can run both of those AC units off of a 30 amp. And you're probably wondering about this other cord. Well, it's a separate plus, separate circuit on this pedestal, and I'm running a portable AC unit because it's 110 degrees. This, the Cedar Elm is not faring well at all. But the, the site we were supposed to be in 67 is, it has no shade. It was a beautiful lakefront lot, no shade. So we have a, a very, very flat pad, picnic table on a concrete pad, a roof, in the oh please let it happen in case it rains we're good to go there we have a charcoal cooker and a fire ring but neither one of those are available for us to use because there is absolutely no no fire but we can use a gas grill but we can't use charcoal in any form or fashion the burn ban is absolute because this part of texas is tender box dry and it is burning all right uh cellular is we have two bars of 4g that's coming from a tower in whitney starlink's got a good reception now that i stuck it way out there and I invested in a much longer cord so now we have more options okay i've deployed the valkyrie i'm gonna put on the harness and we're gonna go see some stuff of course i've already shown you the stuff but the main purpose of us being here is to do a 360 video i'm gonna see if i can do a 360 video for both east and west while i'm here all right let me gear up We'll go see some, we'll go see some West Loafers, some West Loafers Bend stuff. Time for a shower check. Oop. There's a step right there. Yeah, that's 
pretty good. Comes out hot, of course it's really hot right now anyway. Three stall shower. And one toilet. All right. Let's go see some stuff for the kiddos. Go see some stuff. Come on, let's go see some stuff. Look, Ma, no hands. We're gonna go see some stuff. Yes, we are, see some stuff. I don't have any issues. Of course we're talking about a playground for the kiddos. There's even a globe. There's another pony over there. Just across the way from the coach. All right. Let's go see some cool stuff. My boat ramp fans are going to be happy. There's water at the end of the boat ramp. Of course, the lake is a lot lower than I was expecting. A few weeks ago, I saw a report, you know, on the Dallas media, uh, lake level reports, and it showed Whitney that was like just maybe two feet down. That looks like more than two feet to me. It's this whole area should be, you can see where the, the grade change is right there. That should be underwater. Water should come be coming up just over that. Whitney's a great fishing lake. It is on the Brazzles River. We're just above the dam. We, we won't be visiting the dam on this video. You can see that on the previous video. It's a very high saline content thanks to the Brazos River, which causes it to be, hold on. That's a bunch of striper. Doesn't look like they were cleaned. Yeah, I guess they were. Somebody, somebody cleaned a mess of fish and just threw it right there at the boat ramp. That's not very courteous. Anyway. All right. I won't nag. We'll go see some more stuff. When we were planning this trip, I, I booked site number 67. I actually, um, technically, this is my campsite. Uh, but there's no zero shade. And with the high temperatures, we opted for shade versus view. What a view. Have to come back in the spring when when the park reopens, when, when West Loafers Bend reopens. All right, we're gonna do another, do another shower check real quick. Nobody in there. So this facility, I keep forgetting about this damn camera on top of my head. <laughs> two showers but two to two commodes yeah it can use a little it could stand to be updated not bad though now, all the all the campsites over here in west I keep wanting to say west burns run west loafers bend nothing but 30 amp campsites all right, let's go see what else we can find. West Loafers Bend has some pretty epic primitive campsites. I don't, know, don't even know what number this one is. What number is this one? It's at the end of a gravel road. Site number 27. Not too many places to pitch a tent, but if you have a van or a pickup camper or you know, sleep in the bed of your pickup, it does come with water shoes, just in case you forget yours.
and water access might be a bit of a challenge. That's pretty far down. All right. Let's go find some more stuff. Site number 22. It's a water only site. There's actually enough space to probably get a, an RV in here. The water's way over there. We're on another point just across the way. Right over there is where we were at the, that last tent site. Big bonfire pit. And it's a little easier to get to the water here. I wouldn't say a lot easier, but a little easier. But that's not why you would be camping here. You'd be camping here because it's such a cool place. Big tent pad. Okay. Let's go find some more stuff. So if you're coming out to Lake Whitney and West Loafers Bend is on your radar, you don't have an RV and you don't want to sleep in a tent, then you might want to consider screen shelter number 18. Check this out. It's a cement block building, so you could be here in, in some inclement weather. It's got a metal roof, ceiling fan, a couple places to plug stuff in. You'd be right dandy. And it's at the end of the road. There's two tent sites close by, but that's it. Heck yeah. All right, let's go see some more stuff. If you have a large group or, or a group, doesn't have to be a large group, be a small group. If you've got a group of folks that want to RV camp together, West Loafers Bend has an RV loop, camping group loop. Not to be mistaken with fruit loop, group loop. I don't know how many sites they have, but they've got quite a few. And there's a restroom facility right over there. All right. Welcome to Dude RV. I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground experiential video. I'm on my way to Buzzard Days. That's one of, one of my annual events. Last weekend in August, last week in August, last weekend in August, when it's hot as blazes, the only thing you see in moving are the buzzards riding the thermals. We do a meetup. We hang out and camp in the heat. Meanwhile, right now, as you saw in the title, I'm at Burns, not Burns, I keep saying that. I think, I guess I must think I'm up on Texoma. I'm at Loafer's Bend, Lake Whitney. That's Lake Whitney right there behind me. Loafer's Bend East. And we're gonna kick it off with one of two boat ramps. So my boat ramp fans, you get first position in this video. It's not much of a boat ramp though. <laughs> it's a little one. It's a little one. It is way out, but I guess if you need to get up that part of the lake, anyway. Let me put the, the helmet and the Insta360 back on. I just did the virtual tour. So we're starting at the end and we'll go to the beginning. I'm backwards that way. Is basketball your thing? Then you'll be happy to know. They actually have a net on the hoop here at Loafers Bend East. And it's kinda, kinda in the trees, but not much shade. All right, let's go see what else. When we were here, last the last time we were here I, I, man, I can't even remember that was like six years ago we were actually in this site here backs up to the restroom here but that restroom was closed when we were here the last time and it's still closed today there's not a whole lot of stuff here <laughs> but i'll keep looking the big cement block house bathroom Better than none at all. Better than being closed. 
So we're at the restroom next to the gate. Yeah, it's okay, you know. I've definitely seen worse. But I have seen better too. So let's, I haven't found a water fountain that works either. Just so you know. Make sure you have your own H2O. When the kids get tired of being in the water here at East Loafers Bend, you can bring them over to the play structure and let them finish burning off all that sugar. There's even a wild pony to ride. Make sure you stay hydrated. There's no water fountains. This is kind of nice here. Uh, this camping loop. Lots of cedar elm trees to give you some shade. All the sites here are though, lots of slope. Be hard, hard to get level with my, with my big motor home. All right, I think we're done here on the east side. So if you're camping at West Loafers Bend, Loafers Bend West, and you wanna go swimming, so there's a road, I'm, I'm gonna throw, pop up a map and show you that, that that's West, that's campsite number 67 where I was supposed to be camping. And right here is the little gate or the road, the trail that takes you to where we are right here. And this is the day use area. The beach is right there. So it's probably um, a mile thereabouts. Lots of picnic tables with covers. We'll, we'll get a little closer to the beach. So here in the Loafers Bend day use area, volleyball for your volleyballing pleasure. Beach parking over there. Picnic tables that would normally be waterside, but not right now. That's also another swim beach over there. And we'll go over there and see what's over there. So if you're traveling with kiddos and they're acting like a bunch of little pirates, well, then you need to bring them over here so they can be on the pirate ship. Hardy har har. It's even in the shade. And with the breeze blowing like today, it still get hot. When I was a kid, we used to come down here and go swimming. Water's super deep right here. And someone was down here cooking with charcoal. There's a burn. I wonder if we can, if we can make it onto that. I've never been here before. First time that I've ever been right here. We were just back there. It's kind of a kind of a road. It's not a it's not a daily driver road though. And it uh, it is sure a rough ride on the e-bike. Fortunately, fat tires smooth things out. In case you can't tell, that's the dam. Smell really bad down here though. Time to head back. Thinking about a group gathering. My cord keeps getting in my face. Thinking about a group gathering. Loafers Bend does have a very, very large group shelter. Covered dining location. Big cooking pit. Horseshoes. Stellar views of Highway 22 going across Whitney Dam. Let's go find some more stuff. The ratty pack was going crazy. I couldn't understand why. It's a buck, and another doe, and then we come over here. There's three more. 
Oh, wait a minute, there's another little buck right there. Good morning. Good morning from Loafers Bend. Loafers Bend West. Lake Whitney, Texas. It's very peaceful, very quiet here. There's there's hardly anybody here. There's like oh, uh, there's two RVs on this side of this campground and then four way over there. And it's the same thing in the east campground there. Nobody camping. That's why I like it. Yes, it's warm. Correct that. It's hot. But that that means nobody's camping. We can have the park all to ourselves. We're headed to buzzard days today. But that's not why we're here. We're here to talk to talk about let's talk about loafers bend east and west i think i'm going to put them both into the same video since i've already documented both i've already shown you all the stuff there is to see previously so we will look at it together i like west better than i do east uh I guess it's because the West Campground doesn't get as much year-round use, but I don't know, the sites just seem to be better cared for. I don't know, they just I just like it better over here. But if you're camping, if you want to if you want to visit Lake Whitney during the winter, you only have one option here at Loafers Bend. That would be the east. Okay, water access, mostly you gotta go over to the day use area if you wanna get in the water. Uh, there's there's several places here. There's several, and, and Loafers Bend East has better water access, better bank access than here at West. Uh, so there's, there's good and bad for both. I, I personally like west better than I do east, but if you know you want to go swimming, you either if, if you're in west, you've got to go over to the day use area. I think it's a great waypoint stop if you're you're moving up 22, using 22 to cut across. Definitely a summer destination if you're into water activities. not too far from the little grocery stores in Whitney, so supplies are not too far away. And right now, it, this campground is so quiet. I like it. I think you need to put, put Lake Whitney on your list because there's a lot of, there's, there's, there's a number of great campgrounds on Lake Whitney. This is just one of them. Lots of deer. That herd of deer we saw last night moved down to the water. They were moving back up this morning. I don't know, maybe they bedded down by the water or, I don't know. But they were moving back through here at first light. Yeah, we're done here. Not much to say. Oh, the, the bathhouse. I went and took a shower in the in the campground shower last night. Uh, was, I guess it was about 8:30, and that that cement block house was just hot. <laughs> it was it was a sauna in there. Why does this camera just turn off on its own? Anyway, shower was really hot last night, so no need for hot water. The building was hot enough. 
the what else can I say? We're done. We gotta pack up and get on the road and head over to Ham Creek Park for Buzzard Days. If you don't know what Buzzard Days is, the Dude RV Traveling Road Show. Uh, we camp at two different places. We do two gatherings every year at the hottest part of the year and the coldest part of the year, Buzzard Days, D-A-Z-E. That happens in August, the end of August, when it's when it's so hot you don't see anything moving but the buzzards riding the thermals. And then in the winter, first weekend in February, we have our Dillo Days, D-A-Z-E, the Dillo Days Gathering. So when it's hot and when it's cold, it's, we're only the hardcore RVers. We're not those weekend warriors who just go when it's comfortable. We do it all the time. You're welcome to join us. If you found some value, some entertainment, you got something out of this video, please click on that thumbs up. It really, really helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you just like my Texas coffee cup, please give me a thumbs up. Post a comment down there. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. It really helps a lot too. If you're already subscribed and have been following along, thank you. I am so honored. That's why I get to do what I do. That's why, that's why I'm out here in the heat. Actually, no, I'm, I'm out here because I enjoy it. And for my patrons, I am most grateful You guys rock! Alright, y'all come back now, you hear?